it's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily grow a dragon fruit cactus from seed. Now first of all I'm just going to mention what you're going to need. Now obviously you're going to need a dragon fruit and they're easy to get hold of. Most of the Asian stores will sell them in the markets and a way to know whether it's ripe or not is that these, I don't know whether they're called tendrils that hang down here, should be turning yellow and the fruit should feel a bit soft to touch as well. In this case, mine's a little bit overripe, but it doesn't harm the seed. You're also gonna need a well-drained potting mix, and I like to use, obviously, a cactus mix. I use Johnny's number one or two, and I use horticultural sand, and I use it at 50% of each, each and mix it. Now, I like to sterilize my soil when I'm sowing seeds. This is purely optional, but it does reduce the amount of fungal attacks that your seedlings may have. And I've made a separate video entirely on how to sterilise your soil and how to grow cactus from seeds. And I go into a lot of detail in that, it's easy to follow. The links are up above, so rather than going into detail on this video, check, that, check, check the links out to that video above and it tells you how I sterilise the soil and uh, what I do to do that. And so also, what you're going to need as well is also some bags, because I like to sow the seeds using the Ziploc method. This also, because the, 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 uh, sorry, the soil is sterilised, it also reduces the amount of fungal uh, attacks on the seedlings right down. And also label the bag with what it is you're sowing. In this case, obviously, it's a dragon fruit cactus, Hylocereus. And you're going to need a clean knife for cutting the, the fruit in half. And also a clean spoon as well for scooping out the flesh to harvest the seeds and make sure that they're totally clean as well. So that's all you need. So let's get going, shall we, guys? Now, so obviously what you need to do is cut it in half. Obviously using your sterilised knife. If it's ripe, it should be easy to cut through right through the middle. Wonderful. And uh, beautiful juicy fruit. Get your, your big spoon and then scoop out a good generous sized. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> it's alive, guys. Um, I'll clear that later. Scoop out a big dollop of it in there and then put it into the water to harvest it. So, okay, guys, I rescued the piece that fell on the floor <laughs> and I thought I'd get it before the rats get to it. Anyway, what you need to do now is obviously using clean water and the two scoops you've got out from the dragon fruit um, is to separate the seed from the pulp. And the trick is to actually separate, obviously running your fingers through it, try and separate as much of that pulp from the seed as you can. I mean, some people just sow it straight away with, with some of the pulp on, but to be honest with you, if you do that, you can, you can obviously get fungal attacks and things like that because fungus grows on fruit. So you really, it comes away very easy just by gently pressing with the fingers. And uh, look at that, guys, really comes away so easy. Look at the colour of that. Isn't that just the most gorgeous pink colour, guys? It's just beautiful. And it's a delicious tasting fruit, by the way. If ever you get a chance to try dragon fruit, there's, uh, it's so tasty. And when you're, when you're harvesting, there's so much left. I mean, you only need to use two tablespoons at the most for the seeds because there's so many seeds in them that uh, you get plenty of dragon fruit left to, to eat. So I'm um, going to be doing that. And then you, you obviously rub it between your fingers until all of it comes away as much as possible.
you can see, I've flushed it out many times in this big pot of water and all the flesh has come away. The seeds are all looking clean and falling to the bottom. Now, this is only the method I like to use. I, by flushing out the seeds and getting as much of the pulp off as possible, it helps to keep the, the seeds as clean as possible and really reduces the chance of fungal attack on the seedlings. But you can actually, if it's, if it's much easier for you, some people have good success with it, scoop the flesh straight out of the dragon fruit without having to do this and put it onto a clean paper towel, separate the flesh from the seed on the towel and then sew it directly. But it's whichever method you like to do. And look at that, it's forming into a little heart. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? In fact, the, the red pulp is actually going right into the middle. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful pattern, guys? Isn't that just so pretty? It really is. The beautiful bright pink flesh and the seeds all there. That's just so gorgeous. Now guys, what I recommend then is getting a clean paper towel and then once you've, you've fully swilled out the seeds, then scoop them all down onto the towel like so separate any last remaining pulp remember you can like i said earlier scoop the pulp directly out of the dragon fruit if you don't want to go to all this this hassle if it's too much hassle for you this is only what i prefer to do because i like to really clean all as much of the pulp off as i possibly can off the off the um the seeds but you know if you want to just use it directly you can do and then uh, whichever method works better for you and then what you want to do then is spread them across like so now once you've done that is I recommend getting another piece of kitchen roll and again transferring that onto that this will help to dry the seeds up a little bit quicker the reason why I recommend using the seeds dry is because when it comes to sprinkling them onto the top of the soil they're not going to all stick together but uh, these seeds are always best dragon fruit oops dragon fruit's always best harvested when it's uh, pretty fresh rather than letting it uh, sit for too long now where I'm drying them off here, it's in a shadier spot in the conservatory, but it's warm enough to, um, to get the seeds to dry out, just so it's easy for me to sow them. Now there's also another method, some people actually prefer to actually, once they're on the, the paper towel and they've separated the seed, put them straight into a Ziploc bag, keeping the paper towel moist, and they germinate really easily that way, and then they pop them on once, they, once they've germinated. But I'm actually going to dry the seed out slightly and then I'm going to sow it directly onto the soil, because to me that's easier than having to pop them on again at a later date once they've germinated. Now, obviously, once the um, tissue paper has dried out, you just need to gently tease the seeds away. They should come away quite easily. Just gently using um, use your thumbnails, so it's not too sharp, not putting too much pressure on, just to loosen them up there. And then you want to transfer them once they've uh, come away, like so. Loosen them up and then transfer them then onto, onto a clean plate. Now, when you've got the seeds all ready, what you want to do is, in this case, I've got two, uh, two separate containers. The reason being, if you put them all into the one container, that old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, if they happen to have a problem with the seedlings, a disease or fungal infection, there's a good chance if you've got the other one, that's going to be okay. And then equally divide the seeds between the two. And then what you want to do then is, obviously, put them all into the into the hand to sew them like so and then just literally sprinkle them on starting from the edge just like pepper all across and obviously there's a lot of seeds here but they're not all going to take so some of them aren't some of them aren't and uh, what I'll be doing is obviously I'll do an update on these in the coming uh, weeks they can take apparently dragon fruit seeds can take anything from a few days to a few weeks to a month or so to actually take but they're supposed to germinate pretty quickly so obviously I'll do an update in the coming weeks on how these are doing so then just distribute it evenly like so making sure we go into all the, the corners as well and then the other one
I love growing from seed. It's such fun, guys. It's, well, it's very, very rewarding always when you're sowing from seed. And uh, the reason why I've got these sitting in water is obviously what I explained in my How to Grow Cacti from Seed video is that you thoroughly soak the, the, the soil, the parts that you're sowing the seeds in. In um, I use I prefer to use rainwater. I always find it better to, to water all my plants with anyway. But um, And I, what I do is I boil the rainwater. Again, this isn't necessary, like sterilising the soil, isn't it? It's just something I prefer to do because the more you can minimise chances of um, fungal infection, the better. So I... Uh, I boil the, the rainwater and I let the pots sit in it and the, the, it takes it up from the, the bottom upwards. Otherwise, if you sprinkle the seeds on first and then you water, you've got to, you know, the seeds could just sort of literally float away. That's good. And then any stray ones that uh, are on here, make sure that they're all, uh, they're all done. And the same with that one as well. I'd like to think out of all of these lot, there should be uh, a good few that should uh, grow. And now it's time to put them into the bags. Now so it's time to put them into the bags. Now I'm going to put this in here so it doesn't drip all over the, uh, the table. And then I'm going to put this in here like so. Now the reason why I like using the bag method is it creates great humidity for the seedlings to, uh, to grow in. And obviously get the air out. And then... Uh, Push it all down like so. That's the first one done. And the second one. That one. And then uh, press it up or zip it up, whichever you've got. Make sure again we're getting all that much of the air out. So that's them bagged and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping them in these bags until they're big enough to come out. Now that can be a number of weeks um, but when they do come out a good idea guys is not to just unzip it or just take it straight out straight away because you've got to remember is that they're in a completely humid atmosphere in there. It's like a little miniature greenhouse for them and to suddenly take them straight out then into the, the air of the, the dry house or outside can shock them and make them shrivel up. So obviously you want to do it gently, just unzip the bag and then keep them gently like that um, for probably over about three days and let a little bit of air in at a time over three days and then take it out. As I say, I explain a lot more about that in my How to Grow Cacti from Seed video, which is the links at the top. But, um, and what I'll do guys, I'll do an update video in the coming weeks and let you know how these are growing. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope if you ever get a dragon fruit, not only does it taste delicious, but you'll have to try growing it from seed, it's such fun. I want to send you loads of love and loads of happiness and tons and tons of happy growing as always from Ireland. And until my next video.